Hi, welcome to Easy CyberSec. In this video and in upcoming videos, what we will be looking into is the common mistakes that we do while hunting for bugs in bug bounty programs. Now, this is mistake number one. Always read the program description and always submit the fastest. Submit your bug as soon as you can. Now, let's understand what this bug is about. Firstly, this is a target website. Now, what happens is that when I log into the, when I visit the target's website, I notice that they have a login functionality. They also have a password functionality. They also allow you to register. So now, uh, what you go ahead and do is, you go ahead and you register. So now, when you register, what happens is that, you get the website thanks you for registration and then you receive an email. Uh, what the email says is that you have to click on a link to activate your account. So let's say we just clicked on the link and we activated our account. Now, uh, the account is already we can log in. But what we will do is we will try to reset the password for this particular account. As a bug bounty hunter, you have to explore every functionality that is within this page. As you can see, forget password is over here, uh, register is over here. You, we have to attempt to exploit all the functionalities. So now let's start with the forgot password functionality. Now, okay, so I'm going to give the email and try to request a password reset. I will give in the email. At the same time, what I'm doing is with Burp Suite, I'm intercepting the request. Now. When I'm intercepting the request, as you can see, this is my email for which password reset is being requested. And then uh, email block ID, this is some parameter which is set by the web application itself. And then there is reset password, you reset password URL. This is also set by the web app. The others also the same. They're all set by the web app. Okay, I send this request and then I get a response which says, yes, successful. Now, what if I modify this value? You know, the reset password URL was something very um, catchy to my eyes because whatever value we entered in the reset password URL uh, parameter, whatever value we entered for the reset password URL parameter, what happened was it was reflected back exactly the same way in my password reset email. So now what I will go ahead and do is give it this value at www.easycybersec.com instead of this one, instead of this uh, URL, which is set by default by the application, I will modify it to at uh, www.easycybersec.com. So now what will happen is that I will receive an email which looks like this. Okay, as you can see, it says at easycybersec.com, whatever value we had entered inside uh, the parameter called reset password URL is reflected back over here. Okay. Now, oh, you might think of what is the impact cause of this. Now, in a web browser, when you give at before you complete the domain name, what happens is that all the values that are before at are treated as credentials. As an example, I will show you. So now this is google.com, right? So if I give google.com at apple.com what will happen is i will be redirected to apple.com only okay as you can see now we've come to apple.com so when the user clicks on this password reset link what will happen is that he will come to easycybersec.com okay so as an example what i can do is you can reset password for any user who you know is using the application, right? It can be anybody. So now, uh, since you can reset password for anybody, you can make them go to any site of your choice, okay? By just modifying this value. So what I'm doing is that I'm making them come to easycybersec.com. So now, if I click on this link, the password will be resetted. It will take you to a password reset page. At the same time, what happens here is also, you can see the recovery token is here and email is over here. All right, now these two parameter and its value are important to reset the password. Now, as an attacker, if I capture this, I can reset the other person's password and, and access his account. So what I will go ahead and do is, I will set up a server on my own 
and uh, I will make it listen at port 443 because all this is happening through HTTPS, right? So it will listen at port 443 and whenever user clicks this link, I will, I will receive this token and email to my server. As an example, this is my website, okay? So when I click that link, I come over here, okay? You can see my website has received the token. If you go to the back end, you can see uh, this is from my web server logs. As you can see, you, the recovery token is here. Recovery token fully and email is over here. Now using this, I can go ahead and reset the password of this user. Now this bug is pretty valid and um, and the, the main problem was this bug was not submitted within the given period of time. Now the program said explicitly that uh, it has to be submitted within eight hours but uh, i did not uh, read the program description fully i just went ahead and i started hunting and then when i submitted mine was correctly after eight hours and it was, it was 45 minutes past eight hours so what had happened was um, someone had already submitted this before me and disregarding of uh, what good quality of report i wrote my uh, report was not accepted just because i was 45 minutes late uh, which is pretty fair, fair thing to do. I mean, it is um, it is good that uh, someone else got a bounty for this so that I learned from my mistake. Uh, so hope you learned something from here as well. Thank you.